Hey guys, you ever been working in your vault and you keep hearing these terms called metadata? Well, today's Q-tip is for you. So to wrap up our 2021, we're putting together just a three-week series or a three Q-tip series on what is metadata, really getting the best out of your metadata in your PDM vault. Wanted to just expand a little bit on how metadata is used. Well, Merriam-Webster defines that metadata as data that provides information about other data. When I first learned about it, it was 26 years ago, 1995, and I was working as a metadata uh, analyst pulling data from an Oracle database about pipelines. And I, I didn't know at the time what it was, but essentially the pipelines, you know, covered around 10,000 miles of line across the United States. And along the way, there were segments where you could click the line and it would pop up a little box that would show you the wall thickness, the diameter, the uh, the the SMICE or specified minimum yield strength, the the specs of the you know ASTM, whatever specs the steel were, and then if you had a if you had a valve that was there, it would give you the valve pressure and whether it's a uh, an automated valve, motor operated valve. And so in this case, we have a file that's inside SolidWorks PDM and it's an EWR engineering work request. So essentially, you start with an EWR and it's going to feed your process to create an output of a change request, a new drawing request, or a deviation request. So it's really a seed. But there's metadata about it. And the metadata is where we is what is captured on the data card. All right. Setting that as a framework should also help to change the mindset that the file name really no longer matters. I mean we've you know we've all grown up working with file names, you know, so to speak. Yeah. We have to put the file name, we have to name it something, and we have to put it in a folder name something. But in PDM, this is a metadata-based database. So every card is really the attachment of the metadata. So you don't, no matter what this file name is called, that's that's really just rudimentary. It's just on the surface for you for me to see, and I can organize by it, but I can also organize by the form number or the drawing number, or the revision, or the title. Any of this metadata can be placed inside your column set and then sorted. Let's take, for example, a CAD file. My CAD files are basically, I've got several of them that are in this one folder. And this one folder, you know, it looks as though I have 190 items in here. That's, that's quite a few. but this is the reason why we always recommend to our customers don't worry about the file naming or the part numbering you can do all of the you can do all of the categorization the serialization and all of the sorting that you need by using the metadata so in this case this is also why we have you sort or place your view into the details or rather than using medium icons I medium mean, i don't i don't get anything that i can sort by from here and this is also PDM 2019, and so they, in 2020, they actually move, uh, if I click on any one of these files, the buttons that I get across the top have been moved to the ribbon right here, but we haven't upgraded yet because we're waiting for, we haven't upgraded yet because we're waiting for a few other items to come through as far as projects that we're working on to make sure that we stay synchronized with a few of our clients. All right, but, but you'll notice that it's checked out by admin. That's metadata. That's data about the data. It is checked out by the admin, and these files are checked out on a computer over here, SWEQ100. You'll also notice that we've got a modified date, a category, a revision, a description, comment. Comments can also be extremely useful, so if you wanted to keep sort of a running tally of what is going on with the file, then you would place a comment on there such as putting the drafting information or the, on the testing tab here or something like that, or along one of these uh, other tabs, you could put in there what the comment was, temporary file for development use only, and that's metadata. Taking a step back, why is metadata important? Well, we'll get into that in the next Q-tip. So you guys really need to pay attention to that next one that comes up. You know, Keep your eyes peeled for that one because when that one drops, we're going to have a lot of additional information about how we can use metadata more effectively. So the part numbering that we're using here is really a, a combination of the category, which is 15 covers. The location is Tulsa, so it's 15T. 
and then we get this next number, 3069, which is just a serialized number. And then if we have any other additional information that we'll go ahead and place that on there. But in this case, like the 15209 has a part and a drawing with it. And those two get uh, the, the 15T35209. And so then it's similar, you place the similar two. And this is why we wanted to get into this on the next Q-tip because this is really powerful whenever it comes to your searching capabilities. Okay, so we've covered metadata today and we've covered why it's important and, and uh, to maintain that metadata, data about the data. And we've also covered where that data is stored. It's stored on the data card. It's stored in the state, which is basically just whatever virt virtual state these files are in. Uh, who, it's, who the files are checked out by, when they've been modified, the revision, the category. There's lots of metadata in here. And we've also covered why we always recommend using, instead of extra large icons or large icons or medium icons, we actually recommend using details so that you, you will be able to see this metadata. Uh, and again, we want to sort. You can sort by all the CAD created and CAD design check, and then we can sort by part numbers, who it's checked out by. Metadata is just data about the data, and PDM is full of it. Again, the file name doesn't matter. We've got to get out of that mindset because we're in the 21st century where we can leverage this metadata that's in the database. Your metadata then becomes extremely powerful. Okay, we've covered a lot of information today. Thanks for watching and believe in the cube.